Okay, well, I never wanna be exclusive. Like, I don't wanna exclude anyone, <laughs> but today, this video is specifically for those who are naturally messy, like myself, or who you are an organized person, but your organizing systems have gotten overwhelmed by clutter, so they don't really work anymore. Well, hi, I'm Dawn from The Minimal Mom, a former messy person, <laughs> right? I'm just a naturally messy person. I prefer creative. But housework was hard for me. My house felt hard, everything felt hard, and then therefore I felt like a loser. And every day I would just think, if I could just get my act together, if I could just do the dishes, if I could just pick up after myself, if I could just put something away when I'm done using it, then all would be right with my home and the world and I wouldn't have to feel this like a guilt and shame from not being a good housekeeper. Well, that is one way to go about it. So again, I'm not putting that down. I think those are great tactics and if they work, for you do it do it and then i'm just going to talk to the rest of the people the other messy people like me who d just have never been that disciplined to do those things every single night i can be disciplined at other things but that running the dishwasher every night it's never been my thing and so today i want to talk about how you can still have a perpetually clean kitchen how it doesn't have to feel overwhelming or stressful and it can actually become very easy and sometimes enjoyable uh, to clean your kitchen and cook so <laughs> it's a tall that's a big promise i'm making it to you today but I, I i actually believe in it and i think we can achieve it so let's get started okay so like i alluded to we can develop the habits of doing dishes every day or after every meal or we can limit the inventory. So inventory has is what has been the game changer for me. And so what I decided is that I'm only gonna have things in my kitchen that we're using right now. So tip number one is to reduce the inventory or the things in your kitchen to only things that you are using in this season of life. So for us, we have four kids ages nine through 14. I cook, they cook, Tom sometimes cooks, everybody cooks throughout the day, and uh, we homeschool, so everyone's home all the time. So, I mean, always, there's like always <laughs> something going on in here. And even today, I was gonna like tidy up and, and pick up real quick, and I'm like, no, I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna use some of this stuff to show you why my kitchen does not stress me out anymore. And so, like I said, I wasn't good at developing those habits, I still am not. And so what I learned is that if I will reduce the inventory to just the stuff that we're using right now, then it's actually very easy to stay on top of the dishes, to put stuff away, because there's only the things in here that we're using. And so with the example of dishes, we have very limited dishes, so they have to get washed pretty regularly on a somewhat daily basis, sometimes more for cooking more, or you won't have dishes for the next day. And so that forces us to wash them on a regular basis, mostly daily. Uh, sometimes it's by running the dishwasher at the end of the night, sometimes it's by hand washing them. Like I actually enjoy hand washing dishes. I don't know, right? Like that's not that weird. And so sometimes I'll just run a sink of water and I'll pull out the dish mat and I'll just do them up quick. And then other times I have one of the kids load the dishwasher. So we don't necessarily have a perfect system where the dishwasher gets ran every single day at the same time but that's okay because we have a limited dish inventory and so it's self-limiting. We can't just keep pulling them out of the cabinet so they have to get washed all of the time. Now I know some of you will be like, well, I might try that but my spouse wouldn't be on board or someone else in my house. We'll talk about that towards the end. Number two is to keep your counters cleared off. And I get pushback on this, but I also get emails every day from those of you who say, I tried it and I love it. Now again, I'm talking to those of us who are in a really busy season of life. Yeah, maybe it'd be nice to have certain things sitting out or decor or different things, but right now, I actually wanna set up my kitchen, kind of like a restaurant kitchen, like a commercial kitchen. Like it's meant just to be used. It's not for beauty or I don't know, other things. It's really meant so that it's like super easy to wipe everything down at the end of the night, right? Like you don't have to lift stuff up or move stuff around. And so that has been what's been so nice about having our counters cleared off. We make the exception for our coffee maker um, and sometimes you'll see the air fryer sitting out here, but everything has a spot where it can go away. And that actually feels really good. For our brains, again, we're like the world is so busy and chaotic. It actually feels really good to come into our kitchen and not have it feel that way. Now, it might feel weird at first if you're used to having everything out, but if you will work to put stuff in, in cabinets and drawers, and again, I have a few ideas if there's some things that are hanging you up, you're like, I don't know how I would move that off the counter. We can talk about that. And then it's very easy for everyone in our household to clean up and put stuff away because 
if there's anything left out, it means it's, it needs to be put away. Like it's just that simple. So next, let's also talk though about actually putting stuff away. Cause something just like occurred to me the other day. I'm like, I don't know why that hasn't occurred before. So, uh, so I wanna share that with you, but I have one other uh, tip first before we get to that. And while I do think having a clean kitchen really is a game changer, I also think getting a great night's sleep changes everything too. Today's video is sponsored by Helix. Helix Sleep makes premium mattresses and bedding that are customized to fit your needs and conveniently shipped right to your door. In fact, we've had our Helix mattress for three years now and we couldn't be happier with it. And I think we had forgotten what it felt like to get a really great night's sleep. We were waking up with back pain, having tossed and turned all night, and we didn't really think that our mattress was to blame for it until we got a new one. Now, let's get you matched with your perfect Helix mattress. So everybody's different and Helix knows that. So they made a sleep quiz that matches your unique body type and sleep preferences to the perfect mattress for you. So based on your different sleep positions and firmness preferences, they have something for everyone's unique taste. And if you sleep with a partner, you can take the sleep quiz together and find something that's the perfect compromise for both of you. So for Tom and I, we were matched with the Helix Dusk Lux. The mattress comes conveniently rolled up in a box and delivered right to your door. Shipping is is included in the US and it's so easy to set up. So you'll roll it out, let it take shape and that same night you can be sleeping on it. And it didn't take long at all for our sleep to improve immensely. And we wondered why didn't we do this sooner? And don't worry, if buying a mattress online kind of stresses you out, Helix has a 100 night sleep guarantee. So you get to sleep on it for over three months. Test it out, get used to it, see if it's a really great fit for you. And if not, don't worry, Helix will take care of exchanging it for you. And beyond the 100 night sleep trial, you also get a 10 year guarantee. So for 10 years, you are gonna be sleeping great on your mattress. And that's perhaps what we like most about ours is that we're sleeping just as great now as we did those first few months. It hasn't broke down at all. There's no dents or divots. We don't roll together in the middle. We are still getting a great night's sleep on it and we really want that for you too. Sleep changes everything. When you're well rested, you're better able to tackle the day and to uh, declutter and tidy your kitchen <laughs> too. And if you use our link down below, you're gonna save 20% on your own Helix mattress and get two free pillows as well. So here's to a great night's sleep and an always tidy kitchen. I'm telling you, these two things alone can really make a huge difference in your life. Okay, so the other day I, uh, I had told her, I'm like, let the kitchen get messy because I wanna do a, a video, like a reel, uh, clean it up, like I wanted to time lapse me, clean it up to promote our post-holiday reset. So after the holidays, um, we're doing a post-holiday reset where we're gonna go live the five days after Christmas, between Christmas and New Year's to help you reset your house. We're gonna body double, it's gonna be instructional and guided, and it's, it's completely free. So I'll put a link for that down below. But anyways, I wanna do a reel to promote it. So. We let the, the kitchen get messy and then I'm just going through it and I'm cleaning it up. And it took only seven minutes to totally take our kitchen from a disaster to totally picked up again. And as I was going and I'm putting stuff away, I'm like, it is so easy to put stuff away. Like the, um, this was sitting out, the, the everything bagel seasoning. It's really good on avocados, just Sprino or on plain hummus, you can make your own everything bagel, seasoning, hummus, whatever. Um, but we, Adeline and I put it on avocados. When neither of us actually really like avocados that much, but we're like trying to develop a taste for them. Anyways, this helps. But I just like reach into the spice cabinet and put it away. I didn't have to move things around or make space for it or do that thing where you kind of like put it in and then shut the door fast. And so again, when we're talking about inventory, if you will significantly reduce the inventory in your kitchen, get rid of the spices that are expired and you're not using and you think you might use someday and have your cabinets and drawers only be about half full, for me, that's been what has made it so it's actually really easy to put stuff away. So if you are struggling with people in your family or your household putting stuff away, it's probably because you still have too much inventory in your kitchen. And so as I was doing that reel and I'm just, I'm just putting stuff away like really fast, like really fast because it was so easy to put things away. And this is where, uh, so again, we need to look at data. So Adeline is our one who does, she does a lot of the like tidying up and picking up in the kitchen and running the dishwasher. And she had noticed that we had water bottles sitting out and didn't have a spot for them. So she found a drawer that didn't have a lot of stuff in it. She's like, hey, could we move stuff out of here and use it for the water bottles? And I'm like, that's a great idea because even on our little shelf in there, they're too big um, for them. And so I was like, that's a great idea. And so like even her at 14, she looked at the data. Oh, these types of things are always sitting out. Oh, we have a drawer. 
either it's already partially empty or there's stuff in it that we that doesn't need to be in here and we can move that stuff out and make a spot for the things we do use. And now it's very easy to put water bottles away. And so again, I've said this before, it has to be just as easy to put stuff away as it is to leave it out. I'm not always great about cleaning as I go and putting stuff away, but at the end of the night when we're like, hey, we're just gonna pick up quick and it's very easy to put stuff away. So it doesn't stress me out anymore. I never, even in that reel, when I, I mean like our kitchen, like trash, right? It, no stress response. I didn't look at it and feel stressed because I'm like, I know we can pull this together in a matter of minutes because again, my, my kitchen is set up for this season of life. So would you be willing to move out old food storage containers, old appliances, extra cups and mugs and weird things you don't use, gadgets you don't use, extra cutting boards and cookie pans and all the baking stuff that you don't actually do that type of baking? Would you be willing to move that stuff out of your kitchen right now, whether you're donating it or storing it in a different space so that you could test out having a kitchen that is so highly simplified that it's a breeze to put stuff away. You don't mind asking your kids to help because it's so easy. It doesn't feel hard to keep my kitchen now because it is so highly simplified. Okay, and now for those of you who are like, oh Dawn, I have made multiple passes through my kitchen, like, it still feels like it's too full, but I don't know what else to get rid of. So a couple years back, when we actually went to people's houses and we were helping them declutter, we got to go to Dana's house and it, it was so much fun and it was great. I never published the video or, or produce it because for the longest time, I thought I had lost the footage. I thought the memory card it was on that I had copied over it. Dana has a very small kitchen. And she had said her and her husband and their daughter use it to cook in and bake in and they enjoy baking so they didn't want to get rid of all that. And so I was like, oh no. I feel very confident that no matter what size of kitchen you have, that if you will reduce the inventory em uh, enough, that it will work for you. Like any size kitchen can work. And so I was like, ooh, maybe I've actually met my match here, <laughs> right? Okay, Dana, seeing everything pulled out, <laughs> did you think you had this much stuff for baking? No idea that I had this much stuff for baking. It happens, right? Yes. Tell us a little bit about your this, dishes. This, is this yeah. one. This is a pattern of my dishes that was my grandmother on my dad's side. So it's called Blue Heaven. Mm -hmm. They were the dishes my dad ate on when he was growing up. And wow. it was everyday dishes. Yeah. And when my grandmother passed, nobody wanted the everyday dishes okay. and I just thought they were beautiful they and so that's so what we cool, use. Aren't they? That's what we use for our everyday dishes. So And you've since you've collected more pieces, yes. you've had people give you uh, yes. We know how that so, goes. Yes. So <laughs> the, it has grown. So yeah. this was not actually hers, but I've collected the serving pieces and Yeah. It, and they're super cool. So as we started going through Dana's kitchen though, we found duplicates. We found things that uh like she had these really cute like glass storage containers but they weren't actually that practical, so they still ended up using like the Rubbermaid things. These are bread and these are bread. So would you use them both like on the same day? Now you're making me do the <laughs> tough questions because these are my... They're very pretty, but um, would we just put them somewhere else where you could grab them, but not in our kitchen for like our everyday space? Probably, yes. And so we were actually able to find many things that were either duplicates or not actually being used or could be stored because they're so used so infrequently that they could be stored at the bottom of their steps at in these like pantry cabinets that they had. And so it was really fun to go through that process with her and be like, are you actually using it? Do you actually need the four of these? And even though she she had done so much work in her kitchen to be able to take it a step further and to make room for some things that had been setting out inside of cabinets. That was really cool and it did reinforce for me that no matter how small your kitchen is, if you will be willing to keep decluttering it, you're not gonna miss the stuff. You're not gonna miss the stuff. You know, it's interesting how we accumulate things in our kitchens. A lot of us don't actually put that much time or energy or thought into the things that come into our kitchen. Um, we get them thinking we're gonna use them, we register for them for wedding gifts, we get stuff we think we should have. And so we haven't really taken a hard look and said, but is this working for me in this season of life and this specific style of cooking that I'm doing right now? Even recently, um, we had our bread maker in the corner cabinet, but it was making that cabinet just kind of hard to use. And I was like, we haven't made bread in a year. 
I, I, I want to make bread again. I thought even for Christmas, maybe I'd make bread for the neighbors, you know. If somebody walked up to my door and handed me a fresh loaf of sourdough, I would think that was the coolest gift ever, right? And I'm like, wouldn't that be so fun? We'll make bread for our neighbors. And we're, we're not gonna make bread for the neighbors. And so I'm like, okay, I can put that in the basement for now. And when that season comes back around, I can pull it back out. But for now, to have that cabinet functioning really well, day in, day out, when we're putting the toaster in and out, when we're getting our cooking oils and whatnot out of there, that would feel better than having the bread maker stored in there. Who cares? Like this stuff that you're not using, you will not miss it if you move it out. Who cares? It'll make your kitchen feel so good. And again, yes, do I run the dishwasher every night? No, but my kitchen is easy to manage. I don't mind cleaning it. And I've actually found I kind of like cooking now too. And I never liked cooking in the past. Like when the kitchen's clean and I'm like, oh yeah, it's not a big deal to make dinner tonight. I had a long day, but you know what? Uh, that'll actually feel kind of good and it's a way to unwind. That never would have been me in the past, but because I was willing to move out this stuff that I'm not using, our kitchen is so easy to manage now. Okay, well, I didn't want this to be like too ranty, but sometimes I think you just need permission to go further. You know, if you have a spouse or other family member that's not on board, you could use a time will tell bin. You just tuck stuff away, say, hey, let's just do an experiment. We're we're just gonna do experiment. I'm gonna tuck this stuff away, see if we actually miss it. I know there's been women who just do it without asking their spouse and then they just see if they miss it and then they go grab it if they need it. I, I like posing things as a, an experiment. As far as clearing off your kitchen counters, you can get knife blocks off the counter by using those things that go in the drawer or a magnet. Uh, toasters can go in a cabinet. Sand mixers, like I have mine in the cabinet down there next to the dishwasher. I know they're very heavy. So if you use it all the time, then yes, you might wanna leave yours out. But if at all possible, I would just like, would you just humor me and just to try it? I am just like, I am, it's always so fun to see the comments of like, well, I wasn't gonna do that, but I decided to give it a try and I like it too. Like you just never know unless, unless you try it. And if not, that's fine. Like it's your kitchen. You can keep whatever you want on the counters. That's fine. I just know that we are in, you know, when our kids were little, I thought minimal, minimalism was the best thing ever. It has only been more and more important as our kids have gotten older. We're just we're just busy right now and not in a bad way. I'm very intentional with our calendar and our schedule. I, I'm really glad for the kids and the things they're in right now and the things they're doing. And it's also very busy, but I feel like because our house is simplified and our kitchen simplified, it, it, it serves us well, it works well. And when we are home and we do have some downtime, it's really peaceful. And you know, I've shared this before, but Tom had said when the, it feels like when the kitchen's clean, it feels like life's under control. And I do think there's some truth to that. So it might be worth giving it a try to go even further decluttering your kitchen, only keeping the things in there that you're using right now. And man, I don't know. I think it's gonna be an awesome way to start the new year. So here's to a tidy kitchen. Uh, if you do want more information about that post holiday reset, I'll put those details down below. If that time has already passed, we, we always have new stuff going on. So uh, be sure to subscribe to our channel, check out our latest videos, and we always have lots of opportunities to help you even more. And uh, it's truly my pleasure to get to, to come alongside you and help you declutter your house because it changes everything. It absolutely changes everything. You could not pay me to take back all of the stuff that we've decluttered because it has made our house so good. It's made life better. It's made me feel more confident and that's worth every single thing that I have decluttered. All right, well, I love you. I hope you have a really good day. I'll link to my kitchen playlist too if you wanna see some more kitchen inspiration and I will see you again soon.